Artichoke, Wikipedia article audio. The globe artichoke is a variety of a species of thistle cultivated as a food. The edible portion of the plant consists of the flower buds before the flowers come into bloom. The budding artichoke flower head is a cluster of many budding small flowers, together with many bracts, on an edible base. Once the buds bloom, the structure changes to a coarse, barely edible form. Another variety of the same species is the cardoon, a perennial plant native to the Mediterranean region. Both wild forms and cultivated varieties exist. Description Chemical constituents This vegetable grows to 1.42 m tall, with arching, deeply lobed, silvery, glaucous green leaves 5082 cm long. The flowers develop in a large head from an edible bud about 815 cm diameter with numerous triangular scales, the individual florets are purple. The edible portions of the buds consist primarily of the fleshy lower portions of the involucral bracts and the base, known as the heart. The mass of immature florets in the center of the bud is called the choke or beard. These are inedible in older, larger flowers. Artichoke contains the bioactive agents apigenin and luteolin. The total antioxidant capacity of artichoke flower heads is one of the highest reported for vegetables. Canarin is a chemical constituent in canara. The majority of the canarin found in artichoke is located in the pulp of the leaves, though dried leaves and stems of artichoke also contain it. It inhibits taste receptors, making water seem sweet. The artichoke is mentioned as a garden plant in the 8th century BC by Homer and Hesiod. The naturally occurring variant of the artichoke, the cardoon, which is native to the Mediterranean area, also has records of use as a food among the ancient Greeks and Romans. Pliny the Elder mentioned growing of carduus in Carthage and Cordoba. In North Africa, where it is still found in the wild state, the seeds of artichokes, probably cultivated, were found during the excavation of Roman period Mons Claudianus in Egypt. Varieties of artichokes were cultivated in Sicily beginning in the classical period of the ancient Greeks, the Greeks calling them katos. In that period, the Greeks ate the leaves and flower heads, which cultivation had already improved from the wild form. The Romans called the vegetable carduus. Further improvement in the cultivated form appears to have taken place in the medieval period in Muslim Spain and the Maghrib, although the evidence is inferential only. Names for the artichoke in English and many other European languages today come from medieval Arabic al-Arf. L.E. Roy Logery, in his book Les Paysans de Languedoc, has documented the spread of artichoke cultivation in Italy and southern France in the late 15th and early 16th centuries, when the artichoke appeared as a new arrival with a new name, which may be taken to indicate an arrival of an improved cultivated variety. Early History of Use The blossom of the thistle, improved by the Arabs, passed from Naples to Florence in 1466, carried by Filippo Strozzi. Towards 1480 it is noticed in Venice, as a curiosity. But very soon veers towards the northwest, artichoke beds are mentioned in Avignon by the notaries from 1532 onward, from the principal towns they spread into the hinterlands appearing as car chauffeurs at Cavalon in 1541, at Chateau Neuf du Papa in 1553, at Orange in 1554. The local name remains car chauffeurs, from the Italian carciofo. They are very small, the size of a hen's egg, 
and are still considered a luxury, a vaguely aphrodisiac tidbit that one preserved in sugar syrup. The Dutch introduced artichokes to England, where they grew in Henry VIII's garden at Newhall in 1530. They were taken to the United States in the 19th century to Louisiana by French immigrants and to California by Spanish immigrants. Agricultural Output Today, cultivation of the globe artichoke is concentrated in the countries bordering the Mediterranean basin. The main European producers are Italy, Spain, and France and the main American producers are Argentina. Peru and the United States. In the United States, California provides nearly 100% of the U.S. crop, and about 80% of that is grown in Monterey County. There, Castroville proclaims itself to be the artichoke center of the world, and holds the annual Castroville Artichoke Festival. Most recently, Artichokes have been grown in South Africa in a small town called Paris located along the Vaal River. Source, UN Food and Agriculture Organization Artichokes can be produced from seeds or from vegetative means such as division, root cuttings, or micropropagation. Though technically perennials that normally produce the edible flower during only the second and subsequent years, Certain varieties of artichokes can be grown from seed as annuals, producing a limited harvest at the end of the first growing season, even in regions where the plants are not normally winter hardy. This means home gardeners in northern regions can attempt to produce a crop without the need to overwinter plants with special treatment or protection. The recently introduced seed cultivar Imperial Star has been bred to produce in the first year without such measures. An even newer cultivar, Northern Star, is said to be able to overwinter in more northerly climates, and readily survives sub-zero temperatures. Varieties Commercial culture is limited to warm areas in USDA hardiness zone 7 and above. It requires good soil, regular watering and feeding, and frost protection in winter. Rooted suckers can be planted each year, so mature specimens can be disposed of after a few years, as each individual plant lives only a few years. The peak season for artichoke harvesting is the spring, but they can continue to be harvested throughout the summer, with another peak period in mid-autumn. Traditional Cultivars When harvested, they are cut from the plant so as to leave an inch or two of stem. Artichokes possess good keeping qualities, frequently remaining quite fresh for two weeks or longer under average retail conditions. Cultivars Propagated by Seeds Apart from food use, the globe artichoke is also an attractive plant for its bright floral display, sometimes grown in herbaceous borders for its bold foliage and large, purple flower heads. In the U.S., large globe artichokes are frequently prepared by removing all but 5-10 mm or so of the stem. To remove thorns, which may interfere with eating, around a quarter of each scale can be cut off. To cook, the artichoke is boiled or steamed. A cooked, unseasoned artichoke has a delicate flavor, reminiscent of fried egg white. The core of the stem tastes similar to the artichoke heart, and is edible. Uses Salt may be added to the water if boiling artichokes. Covered artichokes, in particular those that have been cut, can turn brown due to the enzymatic browning and chlorophyll oxidation. Placing them in water slightly acidified with vinegar or lemon juice can prevent the discoloration. Leaves are often removed one at a time, and the fleshy base eaten, with hollandaise, vinegar, butter, mayonnaise, aioli, lemon juice 
or other sauces. The fibrous upper part of each leaf is usually discarded. The heart is eaten when the inedible choke has been peeled away from the base and discarded. The thin leaves covering the choke are also edible. In Italy, artichoke hearts in oil are the usual vegetable for spring section of the Four Seasons pizza. A recipe well known in Rome is Jewish style artichokes, which are deep fried whole. The softer parts of artichokes are also eaten raw, one leaf at the time dipped in vinegar and olive oil, or thinly sliced and dressed with lemon and olive oil. Stuffed artichoke recipes are abundant. A common Italian stuffing uses a mixture of bread crumbs, garlic, oregano, parsley, grated cheese, and prosciutto or sausage. A bit of the mixture is then pushed into the spaces at the base of each leaf and into the center before boiling or steaming. A similar recipe is popular in coastal Croatia. In Spain, the tenderer, younger, and smaller artichokes are used. They can be sprinkled with olive oil and left in hot ashes in a barbecue, sautéed in olive oil with garlic, with rice as a paella, or sautéed and combined with eggs in a tortilla. Cooking Often cited is the Greek Asian Aries a la polita, a hearty, savory stew made with artichoke hearts, potatoes, and carrots, and flavored with onion, lemon, and dill. The island of Tinos, or the villages of Iria and Cantia in the Peloponnese, still very much celebrate their local production, including with a day of the artichoke or an artichoke festival. Herbal Tea Another way to use artichokes is to completely break off all of the leaves, leaving the bare heart. The leaves are steamed to soften the fleshy base part of each leaf to be used as the basis for any number of side dishes or appetizing DIPs, or the fleshy part is left attached to the heart, while the upper parts of the leaves are discarded. The remaining concave-shaped heart is often filled with meat, then fried or baked in a savory sauce. Frozen artichoke hearts are a time-saving substitute though the consistency and stronger flavor of fresh hearts when available is preferred. Throughout North Africa, the Middle East, Turkey, and Armenia, a favorite filling for stuffed artichoke hearts includes ground lamb. Spices reflect the local cuisine of each country. In Lebanon, for example, the typical filling would include lamb, onion, tomato, pine nuts, raisins, parsley, dill, mint, black pepper, and allspice. A popular Turkish vegetarian variety uses only onion, carrot, green peas, and salt. Artichokes are often prepared with white sauces and other sauces. Artichokes can also be made into a herbal tea. Artichoke tea is produced as a commercial product in the Dalat region of Vietnam. An herbal tea based on artichoke is also produced in Romania and is called Sia de Anganare. The flower portion is put into water and consumed as a herbal tea, called alcachofa in Mexico. It has a slightly bitter woody taste. Artichoke is the primary flavor of the 33-proof Italian liqueur canar produced exclusively by the Campari Group. It can be served over ice as an aperitif or as a cocktail mixed with orange juice, especially popular in Switzerland. It is also used to make a CINCYN, a slightly less bitter version of the Negroni cocktail, by substituting canar in place of Campari. Liqueur. Medical research. Genome. Artichoke leaf extract has been investigated for its potential to lower cholesterol levels for people with hypercholesterolemia, but no convincing medical evidence indicates it is effective. The globe artichoke genome has been sequenced. 
The Genome Assembly covers 725 of the 1,084 MB genome and the sequence codes for about 27,000 genes. Understanding of the genome structure is important to understanding traits of globe artichoke and may aid in the identification of economically important genes from related species. Rezazada, A, Gaysemnezad, A, Barani, M, and Talmadarihe, T. Effect of salinity on phenolic composition and antioxidant activity of artichoke leaves. Research Journal of Medicinal Plant, 6.